This is Svetlana and Ballet Conrad and Ballet Outlast with you. Uh, so uh, we changed the name, the well, the, from it's still Ballet Conrad. We just put it in Ballet Outlast. It's Eric will do the podcast about it. He's probably will be better in explaining why, but secretly, just because he is uh, well outlawed by the I would say the ballet community that's why we decided to that's a perfect fit for him you know or you know so that's why but he will tell you better i'm just giving a little hint you know so anyway um i'm gonna do more podcasts uh, i was thinking about different uh topic and one of the topics it's the body issues um because there's a lot of people talking about it and in, in including the professionals ballet people but um i think they're not always coming from different perspective i think maybe it's interesting to have a different perspective on that too um so one of the today's body issue i'm gonna be talking about your vision not a lot of people talking about that but it is the part of it and it is part of the problem too so why i'm gonna talk about it i will tell you very briefly and quickly um well <clears throat> a few days ago some of you maybe didn't even notice, maybe some of you didn't notice, but the, uh, on one of the podcasts that I did, you know, I was wearing the same, uh, like um, a sweatshirt over, you will see like, my left eye was a little bit kind of uh, started to go a little bit swollen and the makeup got not so good, you know, so it kind of got all sm smeared around. And the reason I left it like this just not because I, I really don't really care so much how I look. So, you know, it's not about that. The podcast should be honest. It has nothing to do with that. But the the reason why just because my left eye left lost the vision on that one, lost the vision completely. Uh, I was blind on that eye. And the reason it's uh, well one of the well official statement is the glaucoma of my left eye on well, actually on both but the left one it's the one that really went down uh i did the surgery uh, a few days ago uh, to correct it and uh, thank you dr sabora for doing that uh, it means a lot when you can see again um so, but the reason why i lost the vision uh, glaucoma it's mostly when you when you have a very high pressure eye pressure and um, it just create damages the optical nerve and then you just lose the vision and there's uh, different angles there's you know mine when the worst one where you lo lose the vision completely you know so it's when blind and just couldn't see out of that eye uh, so the surgery was corrected um the correction why i had well how it started it started for those ones who already have other surgeries in their eyes and especially if you had uh, icl surgery because i had it a few years ago done prior icl surgery is when they install artificial um lens and that's what you see <laughs> and that's how you get your 20 20 vision so it's like your eye like in your eye there's your lens there's the iris the colorful part of our eyes right that creates the color and they put the they remove it and they put lens in front of the artificial one i mean in front of the your lens they put artificial one and put it back and and then they create a little two holes um for drainage that's how all of the liquids in the eye it will come out and uh, that's how we regulate that's how our body regulates the eye pressure i mean naturally we have holes in our eyes so they always come out but when you put artificial lens they will put the holes in there so it will come out so but mine over some years it was a complication and uh, so on this left eye the holes disappeared you know they became one so there's no holes so the, there's no drainage so that created the uh near the the blindness you know so the doctor went there and did the uh, surgery with lasix well literally pop the holes in the eye so and that's why i have uh, i can see now again so thank you again doctor for that <laughs> dr sabori good guy um anyway but that's uh, that is the reason why i uh, had this the left eye was out of it so but then he checked my and the doctor checked the right, the right eye i only have one hole there so this they did the surgery on this one too on the right one 
so now I have two holes there so it's my eyes well we'll see I'm gonna ch do the checkup again after the surgery in two in two weeks we'll see I'm gonna keep you updated on that so for now I'm actually seeing out of my both eyes I'm glad that I'm back you know but um Yes, the left one probably I will have maybe some complications on that one because the both holes are closed and because it went blind it will be damaged the my optical nerve. So we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. For now I can see, but I do have a little bit on this eye um, kinda like a little bit dark spots, I guess. Well we'll see how maybe after the surgery it's you know two 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 more weeks to recover maybe it's gonna be fine whatever we'll see how it's gonna go but anyway but this is one of the body issues that we're gonna be talking about today <laughs> well i'm already talking about this you know it's uh, the nearsightedness so i always had a problem uh with my vision and he has getting a diagnosed with glaucoma at my age well i always thought that glaucoma is connected to the old age and getting at my age I'm kind of like oh you know but not being ignorant so much uh, actually it's a normal thing now because a lot of people do the surgeries to restore their vision and not everybody is like talking about after effects when you know let's just say when things go bad after the surgery what's gonna happen you know so yes yeah, so for me it was a complication for that but anyway uh I talking about the nearsightedness myopia right maybe i'm not pronouncing very right i'm not really a doctor so nearsightedness i always had bad vision uh been started to have bad vision when i was eight um started like minus one and minus i don't remember 0 0.8 you know that diopters so over the years it progressed by age 16 I already had minus six and minus uh, five, I think. Two eyes were different. Plus astigmatism and the, and the rotation of the lens. Uh, well, so my parents, my mom actually decided that at age 16, I should do the surgery in Moscow where they stop your vision from progressing and going down. So you cannot do surgery, two surgeries. One surgery, they stop it progression and then they can recover it you know so i didn't do i didn't follow on the second one because i'll explain why so they did the first one i was age 16 my mom uh, decided for me what to do or not uh after like having seen me after the surgery i think he, she kind of like got panicked and we didn't follow up with the second surgery because there is a huge percent of uh losing the eye 50% of success for, uh, of that surgery. Anyway, but what, what, so what I initially I had, well, so they do like uh, eight cut, uh, four cuts in each eye around, um, like in the white part, you know, they put implants, kind of goes under your lens, so it doesn't let, let it to stretch or whatever its form it's taken. So that's how, uh, like, so here's your eyeball, here's the lens right here, right? So here's the eyeball, here's your lens, and they put implants under it like this. So I'm just saying like basic how it was happening. So it was its actual surgery and we cut, put something in, you know. So anyway, um, I did that surgery when I was 16. Uh, it was kind of a little bit not a pleasant experience. And I think I always since that now I have anxiety attack every time when I anything connected to my eyes. Uh, so I didn't follow up with the second surgery to restore it. Restore the vision was the second surgery. It's when they do the cuts on your pupil, to then they will adjust so uh, so then you can get the well maybe to twenty twenty vision. It was not guaranteed. That's why I said fifty percent of the rating for that surgery in Moscow. So yes, my mom decided after seeing me after the surgery on both eyes, she got a little bit scary and so she's like nah we're not doing this so anyway i moved from since uh, uh when i was 16 we moved here to united states in uh, 2012 i think that's when i did my icl surgery for restoration of the vision because my vision progressed i still even with that surgery still progress and it still went bad minus eight and minus nine um so I wasn't qualified for the LASIK to restore 2020. They just said, like, well, just put the lens, artificial lens in your eye. Oh, okay. So I had, you know, for so many years, 2020 vision. 
still a few days ago when I went blind, you know. So anyway, but while I'm talking about the actual, um, the problems with the eyes. Uh, so when I was in Moscow, when we moved finally, when I decided like, oh, maybe I'll just do it one more time, my last hope attempt for the ballet classes. Uh, yes, the one of the, the teachers says like, well, because you have a myopia, we're not going to teach you. So that's also an issue. We're not going to be doing ballet. So it's one of the issues they always say, you know, like even in Vaganov or Bolshoi Academy, they always check kids' eyes and if they have bad vision, it's probably they're going to be kicked out or they're not going to allow them to study. Well, you know, I don't know. It's because you know it uh, affects a lot of things you know it can affect if you might you might it got it can cause uh, migraines well in my case it didn't because neuro, uh, uh, neurologists ruled that out they says that no it's not because i did the correction of my vision and it still didn't work and still had the migraines so it wasn't a part of it but anyway but this is one of the reasons why um, in ballet at least in russia they will kick, kick students out of the academy so if they will have a bad vision because normally you're not allowed to have a surgery for restoration of your eyes till you're 18 anymore i guess you know but i was 16 and when my parents did it because again that was just a new thing so yes there is some complications by that but medical parts of it so that's one of the reasons but yeah, so it becomes a body issue too, and you know, nobody really talks about it. So it, there are a lot of people who have uh, bad vision, but still capable of learning ballet and do it maybe as a profession. It has nothing to do with that, you know. So again, you know, there is always a solution. You can have lenses uh, to have a, and still perform. There are some dancers do that, you know, I know that. But again, you know, it's like, depends, I guess. But in, in my case, yes. Uh, the teacher said just because I have a, such a bad vision they will not teach me because they said was like well you probably uh, will be unstable you probably will get if you start to do too much uh, pirouettes or spinning you know they'll say they told me like oh you probably will uh, become dizzy and you know I'm not dizzy let's put it this way you know like it's uh, like kind of a not I guess um, from their side was not a scientific uh i guess perspective but that's what they were told me you know so because you have bad vision so to do a lot of spins and turns especially on point for girls and, and they said it's like it probably makes you dizzy and unstable so uh, for that reason you're not qualified to do ballet classes too so yes there are a lot of issues if we're talking about for body issues you know in the ballet world so well let's talk about all of that slowly you know but so my experience for now you know like i still do ballet i still do the classes we did put the master classes where you saw me doing it and um, having the surgery didn't stop me from not doing the class you know i'm back and i still do it. i'm still gonna do it you know we'll continue the classes um it didn't affect my well, let's put it this way, to prove it that the point that uh, I don't feel dizzy when I spin. No, it doesn't. I don't feel dizzy. Yes, it was kind of a little bit scary in the moment a few days ago when I just lost the vision. But other than that, you know, well, I'm back. <laughs> got restored, got fixed, so it's all fine. You know, um, the only thing I can say just to add to that, uh, because it's also was COVID, is COVID and everybody in quarantine. It was very good from the doctors, no matter under these circumstances, they still did a very good, uh, efficient job. Uh, I will put you some pictures where you can see me in the mask, going to the surgery. Anyway, you know, it's, it's fun. I guess there's always some experience come out out of unexpected. So anyway, that's one of the uh, body issues that I had while I was rejected also not having ballet but now I'm doing it I'm doing it as an adult and uh, um, my vision is not my problem um, for not I guess one of those um, I would try to say like those excuses why can't you do ballet it's the vision well can be corrected can be deal with technology is going there's a you know has progress now so there's good positive things in everything. See you next time.